So I want to pose a question. Do you think it is within the realm of possibility that there are people out there in the world that are so rich, they're so powerful, they have such a network, they have such an influence that they want to act like they are God, that they have everything they could have ever attained and worked hard to get to, and they sit there, they're bored, and they want to dictate what is the outcome of the next steps in the world, that they want to flow and, and move in a way that uh, benefits them, that benefits an agenda, and that would help them to achieve whatever it is that they want to achieve, whether it's uh, world domination, whether it's globalism, whether you, whatever you want to uh, put as a term there, but they have an agenda that they want to do something that would benefit them at the expense of other people and in a way that's even, to their eyes, above the law, uh, justified, and it would be for the betterment of society, right? We watch those movies where people are, you know, there's population control, there's uh, these uh, secret wars and these uh, different things that people want to inject into the world so that they can move and control and dictate the, the outcome of something, to have people react in a certain way, to have certain uh, technologies and certain things evolve, right? So that they can get a... Uh, uh, a desire for something in the in the end is it within the realm of possibility that even Satan, because they're so void of God, that they're so so open to the possibility of the devil influencing them, that they would be able to be so uh, easily deceived into doing things uh, from what Satan wants to ask them, right? Is it within the realm of possibility? Because a lot of us right now are looking at the world. We're seeing the world from our perspective and saying, man, I see my car here. I see my you know, groceries. I see these beautiful trees. I see these nice buildings. There's no rockets flying around where I live. Everything's nice, fine, and dandy, and it's okay. And you're looking at life right now from your perspective and thinking, man, I'm going to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. From what I see, from the people I interact with, there's nothing wrong. But because you don't see things behind closed doors, you don't see the ultra rich, you don't see people that are in government, in power, and doing a lot of different things uh, behind closed doors. And from what you witness on news, from what you witness on you know, media and what people say and all this stuff, right? People are not just going to come out and say, hey, here's my secret plan to take over the world. Here's my secret plan to uh, you know, control you guys and... and, and um, do whatever to influence you, right? People are not going to come out and say that. So I want to pose that question and, a and ask people, is it within the realm of possibility? Because a lot of us right now, we're waking up, we're understanding what's going on, we're putting pieces together, we're understanding how Satan is taking his position, we're understanding where God is in all of this, and we're understanding that there is an, uh, uh, an urgency and a desire for a remnant, for people that are fighting for good and for truth to stand up and to do the work that that Christ wants us to do, right? And so many of us right now, we're so ignorant to that. We're looking at life right now. We're saying, nah, that's just a weird, whack conspiracy. Oh, no, nah, I, I don't think that's really uh, true. I, I wouldn't think this man uh, who was so in, um, influential and so, and I'm not going to name drop anybody, These, uh, this person who was so influential in getting this company to start, uh, this person who was a world figure, they wouldn't be able to do that. They, they don't want to indulge in their pleasures, right? And doing world quote unquote domination things is one thing, but being able to indulge in, in their own pleasures, whether it's uh, pedophilia, whether it's some sexual um, you know, desire, whatever it is. Oh, no, that's not within the realm of possibility. Or is it? Because a lot of us, man, if you were to see um, who you are behind closed doors and the secret things you do, it's not that different. Pornography, um, sexual addi addiction, drugs, and doing all these different things. If you had the money, if you had the power, if you had anything and everything you want in the world, is it within your fleshly desire it, is it within that realm of possibility to obtain what you want and to push your agenda in such a way because you believe you have all the resources, all the people, all the network, and you're flowing in this, in, even in this greater movement, right, of, of this antichrist movement that you can just slip in there and you can feel like you're protected. You feel like you can just do whatever it is that you want to do, right? So I want to pose that question because a lot of us, we are waking up, but many, uh, uh, many other people right now, they're quiet, they're ignorant, and they're saying, man, I'm going to close my ears. I'm not going to listen to this stuff. This is just whack, um, you know, mumbo jumbo type stuff, and I don't want to hear it. 
But God right now is opening a lot of people's hearts. They're open. God is opening a lot of people's ears and their perspective to understand because a lot of us, if we're honest with ourselves, we don't know and we don't understand what the world is doing, what's going on. We're only hearing what other people are telling us and then we're going out and we're saying, oh, I got enough information to pray about these things, but we don't have the right and correct perspective, first and foremost, nor the right facts to pray about it. Because a lot of us will say this. We'll say, oh man, Jesus is all we need and um, I have enough, right? And yes, Jesus is all we need, but you can't just go into your prayer closet alone without interacting with the world, without loving other people, without really seeing and having a perspective of what's going on in a correct way and in and not in, you know, with ignorance, but to go into your prayer closet and ask yourself, man, I, I understand that I need to have a relationship with Jesus, but am I ignoring and am I brushing aside what other people are really crying out and saying, this is the issue right now. There is some fraud. There is some issue right now with uh, the COVID stuff. There is some kind of a a push and an agenda to control and to manipulate people, to be able to uh, silence voices, to be able to shut down the economy, to be able to uh, close down churches and have all these different things happen, right? And I've talked about this in the last few videos, but a lot of us feel like, oh no, that's just a, a bunch of crazy conspiracy. That's something that is within, not within the realm of possibility. That is just something that a lot of right-wing um, you know, nuts are just talking about, right? And so you have to ask yourself, is it something that is within the realm of possibility, but also what is it that they're doing? You have to dig deeper and God wants people to go deeper and to really understand how to pray, how to understand the times and to be able to wake up to um, fighting this good fight, right? And I keep alluding to it, but right now we're in a critical time. God is trying to raise up soldiers. He's trying to raise up awareness. He's trying to raise up people so that you can get on the right side. There's a lot of people, they're in the middle ground. They don't know what to do. They don't want to go left or right. They don't want to They don't want to pick a side or whatever it is. But God is calling people and it's going to be, uh, um, it's not going to be much time before you have to choose. You have to ask yourself, man, are the legislations that are being passed, is everything that's going on in terms of what people are saying online, uh, what people are discussing and so many other topics. There are a lot of things going on right now that are people uh, people are just closing their ears to, being ignorant of, and not wanting to discuss it in a healthy way. And before you know it, it's going to hit your doorsteps. It's going to affect your children. It's going to affect your livelihood because laws will be passed. Things will happen for which then it's going to be a little too late for you. And so as much as you can say, man, Jesus is all we need and we're I'm good to go. I'm just going to be real safe and I'm going to be real um, oh, um, just quiet with this among my friends. We're not going to talk about it. I don't want to uh, ruffle any feathers. I don't want to be awkward about it. I'm just going to go about my life doing this. And then you tell yourself, yeah, I'm praying for the world. I want to love other people and blah, blah, blah. But you're not actually getting deep and understanding uh, what's going on when you tell yourself, no, 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 I, I got it. Jesus is all we need and I don't need to uh, try to uh, discern and decipher these things, right? And so that's why God uh, brings other people that uh, really understand it, whether it's prophetic voices, whether it's other people that are uh, journalists that uh, you know within the, the independent media, and so many people, right? And I encourage people to get on Telegram as well to really understand a lot of what's going on behind the scenes because, frankly, a lot of things right now, whether it's the mainstream media, whether it's Facebook or YouTube or, you know, these these big platforms, there's a lot of censorship going on. And I didn't talk about this the other day, but some of the the Fauci emails with uh, Mark Zuckerberg and the, um, the censorship that's going on with Facebook, the censorship that's going on in trying to uh, bring up... Um, Articles that only favor their narrative, right? To to muzzle and to silence the concerns people had with, uh, you know, the the masks and and the vaccines and all these different things, right? And hydroxychloroquine and all this stuff, right? There's so many things, and I I won't get into the details of that. But you have to ask yourself. Is there an agenda? Is there something that's going on in the world with people that want to dictate and want to control the outcome of whatever plan they have to be able to control you, to be able to dictate your uh, mind and how you perceive the world, right? So you have to ask yourself those questions because a lot of us, we're sitting here, we're destroyed for a lack of knowledge, right? God says in, in the Bible, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And a lot of us are sitting here right now, all ignorant, all just 
thinking everything's fine, fine and dandy, right? Not knowing how to pray, not, and even praying against what God wants and what is happening in the world. A lot of people are praying for, you know, leaders and people that they shouldn't be praying for. They're praying for an outcome that they really shouldn't be praying for because they don't understand what's going on in the world right now. They don't understand what it is that um, in, in, in the world view and in how to uh, interpret the times, they don't do that very well. So I want to pose this question because a lot of people are still saying, man, that is, uh, that's a little too far-fetched for me, man. And when Jesus came and he preached a message, a lot of people asked, uh, told him and, and yelled at him and said, man, that's too far-fetched. How, would a, how could a man do it in this way? Why aren't you, you know, a military deliverer if you are um, the Savior or yada, 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 right? A lot of people, they don't see it in the way that that they believe is how they should interpret something or understand the world, right? And so, um, man, I'm fired up right now because a lot of us right now <clears throat> are still blinded and, and we're not seeing it. And a lot, of, a lot more people are waking up and you're seeing it, which is great. But I pray that a lot more would wake up. And so I want to just encourage you guys and just to ask you and to really contemplate, um, is, it, is it conspiracy? Or is, it, is it something that is um, outside the realm of possibility, right? That Satan could be working so hard to discredit the move that God has for us, to discredit what uh, is soon to be the next chapter of, of a, a great time. But right now, because there's so many of us that are not going to wake up still, it breaks my heart. There's a lot of people that are still going to be ignorant. They're going to believe what they want to believe. They want to just uh, side with the, these people that really are deceiving you, they're really deceiving you and they're giving you a perspective and, 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 and a watered down version of, of the world, right? And so, um, yeah, man, I just, I, I just, I'm fired up right now, but um, I just, I pray that a lot of people would uh, come to their senses, okay? And so I just wanted to encourage you guys with this, man, and um, more to come. It's a lot of good stuff that's coming up. And I'll talk more to that as the Lord leads me. But right now, it's a critical time because a lot of information is flowing out. A lot of people, they don't know what to do with it. But I just pray that you would just be open-minded as more things come out. As election stuff comes out, as a lot of people start to fight things, they're going to say, oh, no, that's a lie. This is a lie. So your discernment, your thinking cap, and your ability to really look at something objectively needs to be on point. You have to be on point to be able to discern these next couple of months, to be able to discern what's going on around us because there's going to be a big paradigm shift for a lot of us. There's going to be a, a big rude awakening for many of us. And we have to be ready for that. So I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for the world. I'm praying for people because it's a critical time right now. You don't want to be left behind. You don't want to be there all ignorant thinking, nah, I don't believe this stuff. That's, that's weird. You know, that's conspiracy stuff. You don't want to be that. Uh, especially when God is pushing it to you as truth, as fact. And so I'm not implying anything as this and that. Um, I, I don't want to talk to that. But the thought of it, to be able to open yourself up, to be able to be more wise and discerning and understanding what's going on, that's the point that I'm trying to drive home because we don't want to go into this next season alone. We don't want to um, go into it isolated and just thinking that, we got it. We have it uh, it all together. And we don't because we don't, uh, we can't even fathom the possibilities of how Satan is working in this world right now. And so please wake up. Please understand uh, my heart and as well as many other people's hearts that are trying to get the word out there. So God bless you guys and I'll talk to you guys very soon.